everybody. I'm really looking forward to this interview, getting to meet you and talk to you about our passion, which is the market. So I just passed you the controls, just waiting to see your screen. There's a screen share option and hear your voice. Okay, Dale, can you hear me? Can hear you loud and clear, Vladdy. How are you today, buddy? Amazing, amazing, great. Uh, I've actually been looking forward for this. Uh, it's my first interview, and I just okay. find it as, uh, you know, I use Twitter uh, to to pretty much document my journey, and um, it's sort of my outsource, and that's how you found me. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I just, um, I'm new to the trading space relatively. Okay. Uh, so I just, you know, I'm just using Twitter to connect with other people who are also interested in trading. It's a great, it's a great tool. And uh, uh, like I said, you know, I, I love to lift people up that don't have 50,000 followers. And, uh, you know, I, I went to your website and uh, I was wondering how you came up with your handle at Be Independent BB. And I had to go to your website to find out that what you mean by BB is bit by bit. And you know what, that is uh, solid uh, survival advice for people coming into the business. Let me ask you this though. Did you learn to go bit by bit by biting off more than you could chew like a lot of people? Uh, actually, uh, my history with risk management goes a bit of, of a longer way. Uh, I played poker for a long time. Okay. And there, 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 I got burned a lot. Um, okay. Uh, so the concept of risk management was not new to me uh, in any way because I've already experienced it uh, in poker. Okay. Um, it, I so, mean, everything's a bet. Uh, you know, there are a lot of analogies with uh, poker players. A lot of good poker players also are are very good traders. Have you noticed that? Because yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That one that's reason. Yeah, okay. that's definitely risk management. Risk management is, I would say, one of the main reasons. Okay, so uh, how long? Uh, tell tell us what you were doing before you got. Well, you were <laughs> were you playing poker to support yourself, or uh, no, did no. You another profession before you got into trading? So I'm an aerospace student. Uh, I'm a bachelor. Okay. I'm going to finish my bachelor uh, course. And uh, the way I got into this initially was that uh, last year I had a pretty uh, easy semester. And I just wanted to, to make my time useful. And so I heard about this crypto thing, you know, like uh, reading headlines like Bitcoin at 3,000, Bitcoin at 4,000. And I was like, damn, like this is not, this is just not stopping. But obviously I, I knew that, you know, tra like getting into a space like that is not easy. Like people, everyone wants to win, right? So then yes. it becomes competitive. So you just can't be naive and just go in, yeah, this is going to be easy. I'm going to win right away. Uh, so that was my mindset, and uh, for about four months, I just uh, literally, I read what Bitcoin was, the concept, uh, got behind it, uh, obviously, uh, if I'm still in, in this. Um, okay. Yeah, and then and then I looked at charts. That was my, I, I had four months where I just played with charts, played with the Fibonacci tool, it's still one of my best tools to date, it's my, one of my favorite ones. Okay, because I don't see any fibs on your chart. I was going to ask you, um, no. in the technical world, uh, was there anyone or a mentor or somebody that was a positive influence on you uh, picking up these skills to be able to recognize patterns and entries, exits, uh, how to measure objectives, et cetera? Did you have a mentor? Yeah, uh, for sure. I, I'm, I still sort of do, uh, although I do this on my own mostly. Yes. Um, and um, like, uh, but I, I, I did, it was the Marcus Sniper, uh, Francis Hunt, I'm not sure if you okay. heard of him. Okay, uh, I, 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 know, I know that Twitter handle, Marcus Sniper. I correct, think, isn't, correct. He, isn't he from Australia? Is that correct too? Uh, I believe he's, he's from South Africa. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's right. what, where he was born. Um, okay. But so he, what was, uh, what did you learn from him that you're still uh, using in your work? today uh his methods all these lines you see uh actually and like, uh, okay maybe, okay so is the like, hf hfb method you learned from him hvf yeah correct yeah that's, okay that's oh that's okay I'm, dysle I'm dyslexic i wrote hfv but it's hvf <laughs> right? 
Okay. HDF, yeah, I think it stands for Hunt Volatility Funnel. Yeah, that's exactly what, yeah. That's okay. What. All right. So, uh, and crypto is uh, uh, all you trade? Uh, it's my main one. Uh, however, because I'm not a range trader, I'm, more, I'm a breakout trader, and I, we mostly train continuation patterns. Okay. Uh, crypto has been quite sideways. So I would yes. say range, tra range traders have been doing a living off these past few months, uh, but it's just been dull for myself. Okay. Um, until, and, Ripple, um, until Ripple came <laughs> out of the hole? I, did, I didn't actually catch, I didn't catch the Ripple move, unfortunately. Um, well, it was maybe just, it just um, started and this is a pullback to buy. Is that what you're thinking? Um, not really. I would actually, uh, would like to, I mean, we can zoom in the chart. Uh, let's do it. Okay. Uh, actually, I, I have here a better example to demonstrate what the HVF method looks like. Okay. Uh, or upside on um, the euro ruble. So going, perhaps going back to something wow. more uh, home to you. Yeah. Are Are you so, originally? Uh, well, I never really traded the the ruble. Are you originally from Russia? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. I was okay, going to. Uh, uh, but you live in California now. <laughs> I live in no. the Netherlands. Uh, oh, oh that, life, okay, that's right. Because you have a complete uh, American type accent. There's no Russian accent. I, I went. I've been. I've had my international experiences through life, and uh, yeah, and okay. my studies in English as well. So I'm, I'm quite okay. comfortable. All right. So even when you uh, choose a, a currency instrument, you choose a pretty volatile one. So because uh, you know uh, we know the ruble has some huge moves. Uh, nothing like the Turkish lira had, but. Uh, Definitely one of the emerging market currencies that was uh, having some problems for a while. So go ahead. Uh, I see the different colored lines. Is that part of the uh, yeah, that's, method? Okay. That's all part of it. So I think, yeah, the best way to teach is by example, right? So we're just going right. to remove everything uh, that we see here. Uh, okay. Pardon. Okay. Yeah, we got it. So pretty much what we're looking for in the chart initially is a reduction in volatility. So some people would just look at this and say, okay, if if I draw something like this, right, there's sort of some symmetrical triangle in there, uh, potentially, you know, obviously it's debatable, right. uh, but that's sort of the volatility squeeze into in there. I think we can agree on that. Yes. So in the HVF method, what you're looking for is three alternating highs and lows. And the thing is um, that we have, um, Things that make our second high and our and our third high points valid. So the way we would look at this, so this is an, clearly an uptrend, and then we have our first exhaustive high here. Okay. And then this is this is the first sell-off low, quite strong, right? Right. And then in order to have a valid second high point, uh, you're looking for the second impulse to be between the 0.5 and the 0.886. Okay. So that uh, makes it, yeah, that's what it's called. What makes a valid second high point? So okay, so the, the the second high point is a lower high, always. Correct, correct. Yeah, okay. yeah. So there's definitely a squeeze in there. You're looking for right, a squeeze. Got it. got it. So so then we can start, and obviously then your second low point needs to be higher than your first low point. Okay. So then having that in mind, we can already draw. So now like you're looking for your third exhaustive high. Correct. Correct. So okay. for that, we use the tip tool again. And Let it. me ask you this. Uh, do you know why the sniper chose the number three to have three, uh, you know, points of highs and lows uh, for the method? Good, because, I mean, I'm big on the number three. It's a, no, it's a number of completion. I do a lot of three drive work, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So uh, do you know why he selected three? Is it because it's a... Uh, powerful number I'm not sure um, I guess that that makes some sense the thing is sometimes you get a squeeze within a squeeze uh, we can see that we're gonna see that on the Ethereum chart oh um, we're like on the third one you'll have a fractal that correct there'll be, yeah there'll be three within the third yeah yeah you uh, see that okay uh, it, it still amazes me sometimes to this day yeah. and obviously you need to be in front of the chart to catch that point precisely Right. Uh, but sometimes, so that's why sniper. Why, that's why he calls himself the market sniper, which is that exact moment where 
where uh, that the bigger risk reward is is provided by the market. So okay. you in the HVF method, what you're looking, what you're actually looking at is to maximize your risk reward ratio. Okay. Uh, All right. In interesting. Gen all right, so uh, in this example, you're waiting for the third high, and then you'd be waiting for the third low before right. you would take action. So what yeah. would be the trigger if we could just imagine having another high or low here? Mm -hmm. So the thing is, um, usually a valid third high is above the 0.5 tip, uh, but you can also have uh, these, uh, it's called, uh, what it's called, uh, like an early entry at the if you see a lot of confluence with the 382 fib, uh -huh. uh, which is actually something that you see here. And if you actually you know use it as a resistance line, you can actually see the squeeze sort of going on here as well as an ascending triangle potentially, right? Okay, so there's yeah. some bullish bias. You could say that there's some bullish bias to it. Right. Uh, I'm not sure if you agree, but at least in my mind. Yeah, higher lows, higher highs. Correct, yeah. So okay. then, in this case, this would become, wait, this would become our third high. I like to migrate as green because this is where your stop buy order will be located. Uh, this is where you leave your pending order at that level. And then, wait, if the computer, so you're going to be stopping yourself into longs or getting short and uh, stopping yourself out of shorts above that green line. So this is yeah. So this is my entry point above that okay. green line. All right, you're so buying a breakout. That, you're buying a correct. breakout. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's that's what the HVF method is about. It's mostly about trading breakouts, and that's what I said. That's why I said uh, that. I haven't been actually trading a lot of cryptos uh, because there's a lot of range trading involved, and I'm just not um, not comfortable. Uh, what about so. uh, money management after a breakout? Do you uh, believe in taking partial profits uh, uh, to take something off the table and get paid? And uh, when would you move your uh, your stop to say break uh -huh. even? profit how do you do that in your trading personally I actually don't do that personally uh, I know people that they aren't comfortable with just you know um, you know getting we're gonna get to this point but to get so the market gets along I don't know at, let's say to the top right some, somewhere right. here so and, you have you have the patience to ride uh, sit with trades until targets yeah yeah because that's, that's right method you yeah. know that that you know that's a great quality to have because most don't so uh congratulations on that to have the patience to do it most people I mean, start seeing the money fly you know up down up down they want to capture something i'm actually a proponent of taking something off the uh table and keeping something on for targets because sometimes you have more than one entry where you uh -huh. could take you took something off the table and then you you believe in the trade and you get another entry, then your risk is profits rather than principal. So mm -hmm. just money management stuff. Yeah, but if, whatever, you know, if it's working, whatever is working for you, don't fix it, buddy. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm new to the, to the market still. So like, uh, yeah. although I've, I've spent a lot of time on the chart, uh, I'm especially now that I'm very familiar with the method, with the HVF method. Uh, I'm actually maybe looking to to broaden my knowledge uh, because there's a lot of it out there, right? There's just not oh, time for everything. So there's a, a a thousand ways to skin a cat, buddy. So, yeah, exactly. uh, yeah. So, um, uh, what do you usually have on your watch list? You know, I've I've told people that you know sometimes people that are new try to cover too many instruments and uh, someone once told me if you can't remember the last price of what you trade you're trading too many things mm -hmm. what that's, do you think that's, of actually, that's that's a fair point uh i do trade a lot of this i mean I, I follow a lot of instruments uh okay. we can go uh into into my watch list so there's there's a bit of everything um <laughs> 
Uh, there's okay. a bit of crypto, uh, and I've recently, because of the crypto sideways, uh, I'm also following stocks, and I'm also okay. following forex, like, we, like we've just covered. Okay. Um, so yeah, that that I would I would get behind that. Uh, perhaps there's there's a lot out there, uh, but the thing is, I don't see um, the pat the perfect pattern very often. So the idea behind watching a lot of um, a lot of charts is just is just to have you know to to it's just a game of numbers right to get the right. perfect pattern you're looking for so yeah, exactly. i guess that, that's why that's what i'm looking at it's a great um, reason uh let me ask you this is are there i interviewed a gentleman the other day and before the move in ripple happened uh he said he saw a fresh fiat coming out of korea and japan so uh do yeah. you follow any kind of like Money I flows thought, uh, things that, uh, no, in crypto? No, no. I only trust the chart. Um, maybe I should uh, get some data behind me, but um, mm -hmm. the chart is what I follow. Uh, I trust okay. the chart. Uh, if, if it's telling me that it's likely to go up or down, uh, like we see on Ethereum, um, actually, and it's a, it can go up. Is a four-hour uh, time frame your preferred t uh, time frame for trading? Yeah, you know, yeah, it's it's really good. It's somewhere between two because I see a lot of uh, patterns failing on low time frames, mm -hmm. and then uh, obviously as you zoom out, uh, the idea is it's it's like an aging wine, right? So the more the longer it takes you, let's go back to the euro ruble for example. So this is from 2015. So yeah, my confidence, weekly. exactly. So my confidence that this is actually going to reach target, uh, which by the way, we didn't cover, but it's from the geometry of the pattern itself. Then you project it from the midway line, which is right, which is uh, exactly in the middle between your. So this is our entry point, right? Right. And this is our stop loss. And then, like you, like you saw. Uh, the take profit is actually already in the geometry of the pattern itself and that's your take profit level is that like a harmonic pattern the geometry is it would uh, you consider it harmonic i i yeah i don't know there there's just i like i said i played around with the fibonacci tool and uh -huh. uh, i was just amazed by how often the price respected those levels and okay. uh and there's something in the geometry of the, of, uh, of the already existing pattern that could potentially, you know. Um, the creator was a mathematician. Yeah, so for sure. Everything for sure. has I'll laws of that. nature that uh, things you wouldn't think would respect it do. So um, yeah, great discovery too. So you know what? Um, for someone who hasn't been doing this uh, that long, I noticed you have a community uh, on your website. Uh, so yeah. do you have a, a bunch? Do you believe in uh, masterminding with other traders? And because we only have two eyes. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, although I I do put a lot of work in uh, because I'm the creator of the group. Uh, okay. I in the so in the beginning I actually have a free private group. Um, where we share all the the setups we see. Uh, so if anyone is willing, like, you can just DM me on Twitter. I do like a like a bit of a process to see if the person fits or not. I just don't want to let everyone in. Yeah, you uh, bet them. Yeah, exactly. Although it's free, it doesn't mean that you know it's anyone that can enter or, or can do it. Uh, there has to be some trust between us, and you know. That, so that do you do uh, do you do everything for free? I also notice that you have uh, uh, ebooks on this course. Uh, now would yeah, probably correct. be a pretty good time to go to your website, Vladi, and uh, yeah. show people where they could find sure. you and what you offer. Yeah. God, sure. I hate that yeah. word noob. I hate that word newbie. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard, I've, New, I've heard that. You know, newbie, newbie, new. Oh, newbie, newbie, you know, Actually, it, yeah, yeah. it yeah, should be right. doobie, doobie, do. But uh, <laughs> anyway, how about aspiring trader? Um, yeah. You know, so, I, I don't know. I think newbie's demeaning, but, you know, mm -hmm. that's, that's just me. I'm a, you the know. The thing I'm is, a, um, 
where I started with this website, I was full on crypto. Yeah. And uh, my idea was to, the thing is, because crypto is a new space, um, a lot of people focus, at least that's what I see, a lot of people focus on the fundamental analysis. So they don't actually know how to look at a chart. Um, and so my idea was to just completely, like, that's wrong in my opinion. Uh, because, first of all, you're, most of the people in the space are first-time investors. So they don't quite know what they're doing, right, initially. And uh, I don't know. I, I just completely digress from that idea. And, well, you uh, know, I, Vladi, I've uh, interviewed well over a 1,000 traders in the last several years. And the average answer for how long it takes a trader to make a breakthrough, to be consistent and pull money out of the market, to be able to, quote, unquote, trade for a living, is about four years. So, uh, you know, it's just something to keep in mind. I'm sure people do it quicker, but, you know, I, I'd like to ask you, how do you tell people to do it bit by bit? A lot of people go out and they're live trading with too much leverage right away. Uh, in, crypto, in crypto, is there a way for people to trade very, very, very minimal size or a demo account to see, uh, you know, before they go live and put, big money on the line for them to do you think they should do that for a while trade a demo keep a journal do you keep a journal yeah yeah for sure definitely keep a journal especially in the beginning like i haven't done it as often as i should um yeah. i do have that uh but well, in the beginning might. yeah for your next interview i want you to bring a note from your mom <laughs> that you know you've been a little lax uh, slacking on your journal but uh <laughs> Uh, anyway, so go ahead. Just give us a rundown of your website and so, uh, no, everything. I mean, you're saying everything's free, uh, the course, uh, being part of the community, and you're so, mentoring. Yeah, let's let's guide you through it. So the newbie part is actually not related to trading. It's actually for people that uh, they've heard of cryptocurrency, but they're not sure of what it is about. And yeah. I, when I did this, it was November, December, so the hype was still around. And that, yeah. that was exactly what I didn't want people to, to think about the space. So this is a, literally my first sentence. Like, look, this is not going to be as easy as people make it sound. And so what is it about? How does it work? I go over Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple. Uh, this is the different concept. Ask some pertinent questions. Uh, also put in how you can make your crypto safe. Of course, because it's everything's online, and um, there should be some some thought put into it as well. So, in my opinion. so you could guide me when I want to buy some crypto with a, a wallet that's not made out of leather. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, I can do that. Uh, all right, buddy, Here's, thank you. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm an old guy, you know. I mean, yeah. You know, I mean, if you I, you know, I, you, know free, you know, Vladi, on my desk, I. Um, I have one of those uh, ticker tapes under glass, and that's what I trade with. Do you remember those? I know you yeah. weren't around, but do you remember seeing them in a movie? Yeah, yeah. But have, like a ticker tape under glass? I, okay, I'm just kidding. But, Can I just uh, Google that? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, I think everyone should be a tape reader. So, uh, okay. So Yeah, let's just wait. Um, but uh, then I have also the trading part. So if you've never looked at the chart before, literally, uh, and the reason why I do this is because the crypto community gave me everything. So I gathered a lot of knowledge from different people and everything was for free because the idea behind crypto is that everything's open source. Like the Bitcoin code, a random person could come in. Obviously, as long as your idea is good and you're confident on what you're doing, you know, you should rise, you know, people eventually will see that you're good and you could actually, you know, participate in Bitcoin code, you know, and that's, that's the idea. The code is open. You can, have you heard of GitHub? Uh, of what? Uh, GitHub. No. So it's a, uh, it's pretty much a platform for developers and where the code uh, is actually shared. And that's where you can find the Bitcoin code. You can just oh. go out there and look for yourself obviously probably you won't understand much of it uh but it's it's open for everyone 
I yeah, this say, is like the democratization of everything, especially money. Is yeah. that a decent yeah. de definition of what it is, this new paradigm? Uh, I don't know, because I've, I've heard, I've been more behind Bitcoin, the, the, the concept, than obviously because when you enter it, you know, it's a new paradigm. This is going to re revolutionize the world. Uh, we're going to, you know, whatever. Uh, screw the banks, you know, we we the people and the money. Uh, yeah, there's, it becomes there's a some... lifestyle, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, some people, yeah, yeah. It, it, not in my case, not in my particular case, but there's definitely that people that, uh, it's just, in the beginning you have to, there's a lot of um, knowledge that gets, uh, at least in my personal view, uh, you have to ask yourself a lot of questions. For example, how is money made, you know? And most people actually don't know where money comes from, you know, and you use it every day. So that's that initially just for itself is, you know, it's a big, it's a big problem in my opinion. Uh, okay. Maybe not, not a problem, but uh, I would like more people to know uh, about it, how it's actually created. For example. Uh, that's, okay. Uh, so you're paying it forward is basically what you're saying, and that's why everything's free. Yeah. Yeah. Because everything I know was brought in to me for free. Okay. So All right. I'm, All right. So uh, your community, what do you have? Uh, a chat room? Uh, how do you and your community communicate? And is it during market hours and et cetera? So we have, um, so if, again, if you want to join uh, the group, just, just go to my Twitter and uh, handle and send me a, a message. Uh, that's the easiest way uh, okay. to get with me generally. Okay. And um, actually, in the beginning, uh, to find the people that traded with the HVF method, what I did was uh, check in charts on TradingView okay. uh, that had the name HVF. So literally what I did was reach out to everyone of the, those individuals that had uh, put out charts uh, with the HVF handle on it. And, uh, and I just... I just told them if you want to join, like I'm the 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 goal is to create a community. Uh, okay. With so well, all that all that process was done through Twitter, and the platform we use is WhatsApp. Uh, okay. It's just, so, can I see what that can I see what that looks like? What's up? Uh, uh, sure, sure. If you give me a second. Is it just a, do you just text to each other and yeah. show screenshots, or can you talk to people too? Is there an audio? Oh uh, yeah, there's an audio version too. Um, oh, okay. Give me a sec. I know most of you guys uh, don't from your generation don't like to talk. You mainly like to text. Am I right? Uh, yeah. Although talking is also is also nice when you're, for example, driving or. For me, yeah. I live in the Netherlands, so I drive the bike. When I'm driving on my bike, and yeah. rather than texting, you know, it's quite that's quite challenging. Uh, so this is I. A, a bit of private stuff, but whatever. So this is my WhatsApp, and literally what I have is six people on here. Um, yeah. I've I've posted uh, the status for the week, like you can see here. Falling try, uh, GBP DKK. So exotics, pretty much. Uh, that's yes. that's where the volatility is at, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, and where it sort of runs runs cleaner, I would say runs. Um, that's that's why crypto is great to trade because it's so emotional, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I I feel like there's a lot of um, people that there are like like we said they're new to the space. So. Well, uh, let me so tell you that. something. Let me make a forecast. You're mm -hmm. uh, you're young. Um, you're in tune. You're 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 doing. You're taking all the right steps. You have a you know tremendous future in uh, the trading business ahead of you and. Uh, I'll be rooting for you and want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to tell your story and become a resource for people interested in your methodology and what you do. Thank you very much, Bill. I mean, like I said, just everything's free. You can go to the website. Um, pretty, what it, the way it's done behind the scenes is through a email list. Then I send you the document. You read it. You find out about the method. Maybe try it on the chart for yourself, and um, yeah, I'm more than happy then to get in touch with new people. So.
Okay, so uh, get in touch with my new trading warrior brother, Vladi, at B Independent BB or okay. www.beindependentbb.com. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, we're, we're mainly doing FX. Looks like he's everywhere. And uh, really appreciate your time. Glad to know you. And may pips rain down on you and your community during this fall trading season. Thank you very much, Dale. Thank you for All having right. me. All right, buddy. Good hunting. Okay, everyone, that's, uh, that's it for Turnaround Tuesday. We'll see everyone tomorrow for uh, prior to the Fed and get you prepped for it. And remember, most of all, and this includes you too, Vladi, don't just count your pips, count your blessings. And I'll see everyone tomorrow. Yeah. Adios, Warriors. Thanks again, Vladi. Thank you.